When it comes to Weatherby shotguns, you have to remember Weatherby is an importer. They set the specifications and the looks of what they want, then they go out and find the best manufacturers. For years, SKB made Weatherby, Orion, and Athena shotguns, and then the production moved around a little bit. Fausti Stefano in Italy made them. Now they're being made by Atta in Turkey. And Weatherby has done a great job with the Turkish shotguns it imports, both the semi-automatics, and now, like this Orion, with the over-unders. What Weatherby has done with the new Orion is to give us a gun that's a good looking gun. It has nice polish, nice blue work on the metal, and of course it has pretty Turkish walnut with kind of a high luster finish. And it's a good looking gun for the money. This gun retails for about $1,100, and frankly, it's a good value. Now the triggers on this gun are mechanical, meaning you can fire one barrel and then the other. You don't have to wait for inertia to engage a connector or anything. So it's a nice feature, especially on a gun in this price class. They are selective, and you can see on the tang, you have both your over barrel and your under barrel, and you can choose it here. The safety, of course, is mounted on the tang, and when it's rearward, it prevents the gun from firing. Another feature that you typically don't get in an affordable gun like this is selective automatic ejection. This gun has both extractors and ejectors, and if you fire a barrel, the only barrel that ejects is the one that was fired. The Orion comes with either 26 inch or 28 inch barrels. In this case, we have the 28s, and it does accept interchangeable choke tubes. Weatherby gives you three in the box when you get it, but rest assured, it accepts Beretta style choke tubes. Now there's something else Beretta style about this gun. When you pop this gun open, you'll see that it actually has Beretta style locking lugs. A lot of guns use a simple under lug, but this uses two bolts that come through the front of the receiver and they lock into recesses for them on either side of the barrels between them, right here and right here. And of course you have another lug here and here that mates with similar surfaces inside the receiver. And of course the barrel rides in trunnions that are cut into the receiver. It's a pretty low profile design that Beretta of course uh, has made famous. And this is the first time I've seen it done in a Turkish gun. Of course the barrels are built on the monoblock principle and you can see this is your monoblock right here. It's well jeweled here on the side as are the ejectors, but there's always a little band right here, a little scroll engraving that you see, and that's where the barrels are joined into the monoblock. Uh, you have a top rib, of course, that's well grooved, and that's to reduce glare as you're looking down the barrels, and there is, of course, a brass bead down at the front. The aesthetics on this gun are really a, a mix of Weatherby flamboyance as well as being understated. Of course, you have a, a high luster stock, you know, and it's good when you have a stock like this because it allows your, your face to slide by and you don't get punched in the cheek as much. But the bluing is really nice. You have Weatherby in gold, very simply on the, on the side of the receiver. Then, of course, you have an understated W right here on the trigger guard. Then, of course, you have a gold plated trigger. So, all in all, it's a nice looking gun without being too flashy. Weatherby shotguns have been known for having great styling over the years, but this gun does something that the other ones couldn't do. And the reason we don't have SKB Weatherby's anymore is they were too expensive. This gun is very affordable, very serviceable, and I can't wait to take it to the range. For more reviews of firearms and shooting gear, check out the latest edition of American Rifleman the magazine.